Good morning, one more time. It's a boy, not the Mueller. Doing my things my way. A content creator and a recording artist. So there's something I want us to discuss very, very briefly. It's about what is happening in the world currently. The problem in the Middle East, Israel, Iran, and the rest. Should Iran have a nuclear weapon? This is the response of many people. No, Iran should not have a nuclear weapon. They will fall in the eyes of terrorists, Hezbollah. Hamas only will use it and destroy us. Terrorists will fall in the eyes of terrorists. Yeah. Should Israel have a nuclear weapon? Yeah, Israel should have a nuclear weapon to defend itself from those who want to destroy the state of Israel. Can you see their double standard? Should America ha have? France? Britain? Yeah, they need to have. Yeah, 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 they're supposed to have. They're supposed to have to protect their, their territory. Yeah, they have. To. So what of others? Where do you see it that certain countries shouldn't have nuclear weapons and others should have? You read it from the Bible? You read it from the Quran? Or the book of, uh, I don't know, is it Hindu or Shinto? Where is it? Which constitution of the world state that some countries have the right for nuclear weapons others shouldn't have by the way when you say terrorism what is this terrorism what, is, what does it mean it's, it's it's very huge it's a very huge topic there are various forms of terrorism if you want to put it the way the two most lethal deadly impish form is islamic terrorism and white supremacist terrorism these are the main two that have wreaked havoc upon the surface of the earth. But the difference is that why Islamic terrorism is the most exposed, the most fought against, the one that people are prepared to put everything in place to destroy. The white supremacist terrorism is the one that is the most protected. Nobody touches it. The most hidden. Yeah. That is a problem. We need to speak truth with boldness. I'm a fearless militant for justice. There are two things. If you want the world to be a, safe, a safer place for all of us, either those who are owing nuclear weapons and destroy everything, or they allowed everybody to go nuke, everybody to arm itself, every nation to arm itself. Where is, when they talk of democracy, where is democracy? That you think Iran, uh, uh, America, France, Britain, Israel, and others should have nuclear weapons, but Iran shouldn't have, or Saudi Arabia shouldn't have, Africa shouldn't have. You see their double standard. Either those owning nuclear weapons that destroy everything will come to ground zero, or if they want to keep them, there is no way they will prevent other countries from having nuclear weapons. Iran, have my full support. Build your nuclear capability. For your own self-defense. Africa, have my support. Build your nuclear capability for your own support. Because the only weapon that it colonizes the Western hegemony, the only weapon they are afraid of is a nuclear weapon. That's why they don't mess up with North Korea. North Korea has it. They can't mess up with India. India has. They can't mess up with Russia. And now they're doing everything to prevent Iran from having an African countries go in for nukes. It's a deterrent to colonialism, a Western hegemony. Thank you very much. I wish you a very blessed day.